All right, you ready for today? Going outside, going to take some pictures and, oh crap. everyone so it is raining outside and no pictures today which that's okay but first off I want to thank you guys so much for watching my YouTube videos so thank you I really appreciate it and if this is your first time here I'm glad you found me and I hope you like it if you don't well here we are and just leave it to me to make it awkward for everyone Today's video, normally when I go take some images, I plan it out, I know where I'm going, I've done my research, I know where the sun's gonna be, I've looked at my GPS, my sun tracker apps, I am prepared. But what you're gonna see in this video today are the times where I happen to have my camera gear with me and I just see something I wanna take a picture of. I don't always carry my camera gear with me, and I should, and so should you. So, I don't have anything else to say right now. Go on to the next part. Beep boop, beep. Hey, got a few errands to run today, so let's go. Okay, you guys, I just saw a really cool scene that I want to take a picture of. So, um, I had to find a place to park on the side of the road. I'm going to grab my camera, and then I'm going to go see if I can get this shot over there. And I'll bring you along. Don't worry. You know, these people probably think I'm a hobo, but I'm not. Okay, so this shot, real quick, since I'm on the side of a highway. There's a lot of kudzu all in this forest, but there's a bunch of trees that just the contrast really struck me when I was driving past. The sunlight is just kind of filtering in through all the leaves. Actually, I want to scoot over this way. Yeah, we're going to keep going this way. What I'm wanting to accomplish with this image is I just want all the green of the kudzu, all the vines to be on the bottom and then just these tree trunks sticking up. All right, so what I think I like about this is just the sparsity of the trees. Um, a lot of times in Alabama, the, the forest is so thick you can't even see through it. So I'm at a sixth of a second, F8, ISO 100, two second timer. I'm at about 100 millimeters. Cool, I like it. Glad I stopped. Are you glad I stopped? I know I am. Back to the truck. Back home. I just dropped the kids off at school and it's really foggy and luckily I have my camera with me people it's vital if you're a professional race car driver you're gonna keep a car with you usually all the time you know you never know when you might need to race somebody it's a valid point but last night it started getting a little foggy and I was going along a highway and I couldn't stop on the side that I was on and I needed to be on the other side so I'm gonna go there right now 
because I have some time on my hands. So let's see if we can get a cool foggy forest shot. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of sit in my truck a little bit. Uh, the fog is starting to lift, so the shot will have a lot more texture and interest versus just this blanket of fog. Now, if it, if it was just fog, um, that would be a pretty nice image still. It, it kind of just makes everything uniform. It puts everything in the same tone, but uh, it's not quite what I wanted. I wanted to wait until the fog lifted just a little bit so the sun was kind of maybe peeking through, um, just giving it some more interest and little pops of, of color and saturation. I'm gonna get my camera out safely from my truck and then I'll step outside and compose a shot and then I will take a shot or two and then get back on the truck and go home. This is a little quicker than I normally take images. So I'm gonna have that pond at the left, and then I'm gonna have the hill going up to the right of the image. So it's kind of your eyes drawn in from the from the shrubbery on the bottom. That kind of that bluish sage color on the bottom coming up from the bottom right, and then the outline of the hill to the right, all drawing your eye back to that pond, and then it kind of keeps on going back to the different color foliage in the back of the image. So let's see if we can get that shot. I'm at, I'm at a 50th of a second because everything in the scene is so covered in this fog that everything is just, it's just so bright. I'm gonna underexpose a little bit, but my histogram is still perfectly fine um, for any of the shadow detail. So I'm not losing anything there, but it is gonna kind of tone this dense white fog down a little bit. Yes, yes, I like it, I like it. Totally worth it. Now I'm gonna pack up, get in the truck, go home, have some breakfast, and drink some more coffee. Lots of coffee. My baby just went to ballet. <sighs> I'm just kidding. She's been going to ballet since she was about two years old. And we are thick in nutcracker season, so she's there for a few hours. Let's go to a new location that I found. Come with me. Thanks GPS for taking me 50 minutes to drive 25 minutes instead. I just got here, I'm at Moss Rock Preserve. There's like a million cars here, and I didn't realize it was like a legitimate trail going into the forest, and I have flip-flops. So hopefully I'll see as many people as I can so they can make fun of my shoes. So this place is awesome. Um, a lot of rocks, a lot of moss, which is, you know, it's aptly named. So good job for whoever named it. And what I'm struggling with is finding a composition. It's great to be here. There's a lot of people doing some rock climbing. It's really pretty around here. It's just really unique. There's just huge boulders with moss and trees and gro trees growing up in between the rocks. I haven't found it yet. 
keep on looking. All right, I have tried my best. There is a really cool pine tree um, right behind me. Where is it? Right there. It kind of does a little corkscrew, and it's awesome, and I've gone around every bit of it, and um, can't find a composition. That tree was different and unique, but there was nothing else going for it. Okay, sorry the sun's behind me, but I'm going this way. And uh, this area is so cool, there's so many, it's just this huge shelf of rocks. And I think that's pretty awesome. And it's just unique, and I haven't seen anything like this around here. And right now I'm just enjoying being here, but also looking for a composition. Uh, so I came back down into the forest area. There's a waterfall right here. And now as I was walking, I was looking down here, take a look, this caught my eye right here. So. All these branches and trees and roots that are kind of winding up going towards this tree headed up that way. Um, I'm thinking if I can get over there that uh, this might be a good shot. So let me see if I can get over there without getting soaking wet. Okay, so I made it over here. Um, it was tricky. I fell a little bit. I looked around. No one was here. So luckily that was not on camera. I do like this shot. I'm going to set up my camera and get it before someone comes and bothers me as I'm vlogging. I'm so shy, you know. All right, so I have my shot set up and ready. Um, the sky is so bright compared to how dark it is down here because the sun is up there and it's not down here. Once again, instead of using a hard edge graduated filter, which would be perfect, I don't have one. So what I'm gonna do is bracket, merge them. So to let you know, for the base of the image, I'm at uh, two and a half seconds. ISO 100 F11, two second timer. Cool, okay. All right, so for the sky, I'm doing a 15th of a second instead. And that is good, it's still very bright up there, so. So, that was fun. I'm gonna head back to my truck and go get my daughter from ballet. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment below, talk to me about it, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that every time I post a video, you will be aware. And uh, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.